We now join Rashida Lucas and T.P. Lucas as Judge Lynn hears their case. Mr. Lucas, you have brought Mrs. Lucas here to court in order to recover either a your 2000 Camry that you said you upgraded or the value of the upgrades that you put in the Camry that you say she took. And I know that you're wearing sunglasses, which usually is not permitted in a courtroom, but I understand that you have an eye issue, glaucoma, and the lights are bothering you. Mr. Lucas, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me? how we got here and why it is you've needed to come to court to get this car back. Well, um, Your Honor, I was, we, everything, there was nothing wrong, nothing. You know, everything was normal at my house. Everything was normal? Had nothing wrong, nothing. Rashida told me, baby, I'll be back. And she left, you know, this was back in November. Mrs. Lucas? Mr. Lucas says you had a great relationship. Yes, we had a wonderful relationship. Why don't you tell me what was wonderful about it? Um, it was wonderful. Um, we were like best friends. I believe, you know, he's my soulmate. Everything was fine except... Except? He, he was too nice. He's <laughs> <laughs> it, too nice. I mean, How does one be too nice to one's wife? <laughs> he was too nice, like, it was scary nice. You know, <laughs> it was like, you know, <laughs> you know the people that said that it was like stalkerish nice, like you too nice, it's too Give good to be Give me an example, because I, I, I cannot conceive of the world that you have structured for me here. Right, I mean, you know, too nice, like, you know, he would say, I love you, and it was like, I was like, okay, I was waiting for the punch, when you gonna kick me, it's scary. Some people just, you know, just, you could be nice, but Mrs. you could be Lucas, too nice. you're gonna have to do better than that. Mm -hmm. He told you he loved you and this was a problem. You put up your hands like, when is the punch going to come? You've been married for five years. Has he punched you yet? No. no. He's a he wonderful man. He doesn't punch you. He's he a does. wonderful man. Yes, I'm just not so used to that. So the I love you is too much for you. It's, it's not too much, but you don't have to tell me like twice a week. <laughs> uh, can't figure that. So if I found you a brother that would run around on you, call your names, and smack you upside the head, you'd be in heaven. Sorry. No, he don't have to call me names or smack me, but... He can run around on you. No, not that either, but... What do you want from a man, Mrs. Lucas? Yes. I mean... <laughs> she, she told me that's what she wanted. What did she tell you she wanted? Well, she told me she wanted somebody to, 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 to cherish her and, and to don't run around on her. She, you know, all the things that... A good man and a good woman should want out of each other. We agreed that because I had been married before, and my my ex-wife, oh my goodness, she scared me. <laughs> <sighs> if I ever did it again, it was gonna be better than any other marriage, and I made the promise to, for keeps. This wasn't to be playing around, you know. And if nothing's wrong, where are you going? You know, it's, it's a, there are women that would pull her head off her neck for a guy like me. I'm going to ask you one more time. He made me gain weight. Okay, that... How did he make you gain weight? Because, I mean, now, the man can cook. Brother can throw down. But he would... I mean, he cooked full-course meals for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Two o'clock in the morning, if I was hungry, he wouldn't fix me a sandwich. This man would make a whole meatloaf. Potatoes, and gravy, vegetables, a big stupid cup of Kool-Aid. I go to sleep right on that. Get up in the morning, he done fix French toast, pancakes, grits, biscuits. So now I'm laying on food, on top of the food I just laid on a couple of hours ago. So your complaint is... <laughs> <laughs> that this man cooked too often and too well and... And he made me gain weight. Mrs. Lucas, have you lost your mind? <laughs> no. I have women coming in here whose men are leaving them because they got too heavy. You got heavy based on his... But, they won't cook, they won't clean, they won't pick up the house. They're controlling, they're unkind. You have got a guy who cooks for you. You have got a guy who doesn't care what size you are. You have got a guy who, no, 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 who tells you. Oh, 
that he loves you without being prompted or looking for sex, and you're telling me that you want to leave him because he treats a good black woman, which we're going to have to qualify, <laughs> like good black women a queen ought to be treated. And what you're doing, what you're doing is taking a very self, I am a self-centered individual. And I don't appreciate what a man has brought to my table. So I'm going to make up some stupid reason yeah, yeah. to say what well, it, it is. It's stupid. It's, it, and I, I, I very rarely say that about anybody. Do I, Joe? Very I don't rarely. say things are stupid. Very rarely, because people have odd points of view. That's OK. But that's stupid. You need to grow up, Mrs. Lucas. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, my understanding is that she took on a career you didn't know about. Yeah. Could you Absolutely. explain that to me? Because I didn't understand it. I've been out here doing the best I can to get recognition as a comic for almost 17 years. And so after she leaves me, a mutual friend tells me that he saw her in a comedy club on stage. <laughs> on stage. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. She, but she never shared this with me at all. She never told me not so one time. So she became a comedian and didn't tell you? Didn't tell me nothing. And every time I tried to talk to her about it, she, you know, she didn't have time. Uh, or, or she didn't want to talk. She was busy or something like that. She was supportive of your comedy career? Absolutely. Absolutely. I could, like, if she was n closer to the stage, she had a distinctive laugh that I love. And I would hear her, and that would just motivate me to hit the crowd a little harder. Because she made me feel... Good. He's killing you, he's Mrs. Lucas. You know that over here. He's just killing you. I mean, you, I mean he's just killing you. Did you uh, but, but he Mrs. Didn't Lucas, tell you did, about did, the shows did, that he. Yes, you can, you can tell me about the shows. Okay. Tell me. The shows, you know, I supported him with his comedy. That was fine. Right. But he also had a family at home. I already worked all during the day, going to school. Well, by the time I come in, Hey, bye, I love you. He's going out. This happened all the time. By the time he's coming back in, it's time for me to leave back out. So I wasn't seeing my husband Well, that he much had to anymore. been spending some time at home because he made you gain 30 pounds by cooking. Yeah. Well, that was when he was there. But, I mean, because he cooked before he left. You know, when I came in, there was food there. Or when he came in, or when he came in, he would bring me food at 3.30 in the morning. When did you get the comedy bug? What did you tell yes. him about it? Actually, this is the first time telling him about it. I, I would How long have you been subject. doing it? A year. Oh, Why yeah. Why didn't you tell him? Because I felt like a hypocrite. How, you know, I talked about how he would be out supporting his colleagues. And now I see. You understand you know, his point I understand, of view. But the difference is. He had a wife at home. He didn't have to go to all those unnecessary shows all the time. I can go. You know, I don't have, I'm not at home with him anymore. So I go to different shows. I... So you're complaining that he spent too much time comedy because he had a wife at home. Mm -hmm. But you can go out and be away and not acknowledge that you had a husband and a child at home. Right, but now I have, you know, I'm a teenage mother. I, I make my own babysitter. So now my daughter watches my other kids while I have shows. So... She's watching them right so now. So everybody in your airspace ought to do for you and you need to do for no one. Is that what you're telling me? No.